In Arizona, roughly 33,000 people applied for unemployment benefits just in the last week. More than half a million have filed for unemployment in the last eight weeks. Nationwide, 36 million Americans have filed for unemployment in the last two months. But despite the growing unemployment claims, some small businesses in Arizona are having a hard time hiring workers. Our David Caltabiano shows us one local restaurant's struggle and their plea for help. At a time where unemployment claims are soaring, we are. some small businesses, like Times Square Italian restaurants, are in desperate need of employees. With an unemployment rate of almost, what, 20%, you would think that we'd have a lot of applicants that come through the door, but we're not. Owner Paulette Cano says it's because of the Federal Care Act, which adds $600 weekly on top of the state's unemployment check. She says her furloughed employees told her they make more money from staying at home than they do from working at her restaurant. They don't want to come back to work. It's the uh, unemployment that they're receiving. I believe it's uh, about $840 a week that they're receiving which puts them at about $22 an hour. Times Square has more than 30 openings because they had to furlough dozens of positions across their three restaurants. We will be focusing resources. After Governor Doug Ducey shut down businesses to stop the spread of COVID-19. Their dining room is back open to guests, but their restaurants are short staffed. On top of that, if Paulette cannot rehire staff in eight weeks, her loan from the Paycheck Protection Program will not be forgiven. It's hard because it compromises our service and, you know, and we don't want it to compromise our food. You want to hire and they're just not coming through the door. Paulette says the few that are filing job applications are asking for more than $20 an hour, an equal pay to an unemployment check with added federal relief. They want to start at $20 an hour, which makes it really difficult when your profit margin is so you know small to begin with in the restaurant industry. The Federal Care Act, which gives out an extra $600 weekly, is set to expire on July 31st. Lawmakers in D.C. are in talks of a new federal relief package. Until then and beyond, Paulette says stop by any one of her locations and apply for a job. In order to get our country back to work, in Phoenix, employees have to come back to work. David Coltbiano for Arizona's Family.